Welcome to Mystery Infinity, your portal to the past. Today's adventure takes us back, way back, to the sands of ancient Mesopotamia, where we uncover the oldest gem of human storytelling, the Epic of Gilgamesh. This isn't just a story, it's a time capsule, a window into a world where gods mingled with mortals, and heroes embarked on quests that echo through time. We're talking about a narrative so ancient, it makes the pyramids look like recent constructions. So, gear up for a journey to an era where epic tales were born and legends were etched in stone. The Epic of Gilgamesh isn't just a tale of gods and heroes. It's a reflection of humanity's age-old quest for meaning, friendship, and the eternal search for immortality. Hit that subscribe button and join us as we unfurl the scrolls of history, breathing life into a story that has fascinated scholars, adventurers, and dreamers for over 4,000 years. Ready to step into the ancient world? Let's go! Gilgamesh. The King and the Wild Man. In the bustling city of Uruk, we meet our hero, Gilgamesh. Picture this. A king with the strength of the gods, but also an ego to match. He's not just your average monarch. He's half god, half man, and all about showing off his unmatched prowess. But let's just say, his people aren't exactly throwing parades in his honor. Gilgamesh, in his quest for glory, is pushing his subjects to the brink. Cue the gods thinking, Maybe it's time to knock this guy down a peg or two. Enter Enkidu, the wild man, crafted from clay and wilderness by the gods. He's as untamed as the animals he roams with, a stark contrast to the polished streets of Uruk. Enkidu is nature's answer to Gilgamesh's arrogance, a force of raw, untamed life meant to give the king a reality check. Their first encounter? Let's just call it a clash of the titans. It's a wrestling match that would put any royal rumble to shame. But as dust settles, something unexpected happens. From the heat of conflict blooms a friendship unlike any other. Gilgamesh and Enkidu, once rivals, become inseparable companions. It's a bond that redefines Gilgamesh's character. Enkidu becomes his confidant, his comrade in arms, and, most importantly, a mirror reflecting Gilgamesh's own humanity back at him. Their friendship sets the stage for the adventures to come. Together, they're not just a king and a wild man. They're a duo destined for epic quests. It's a relationship that weaves through the tapestry of the epic, showing us the power of friendship to transform even the mightiest of heroes. In the world of ancient epics, where gods meddle and heroes seek glory, it's the human connection between Gilgamesh and Enkidu that truly resonates through time. The Quest for Immortality, Journey to the Cedar Forest Gilgamesh and Enkidu, now the best of pals, decide that what their friendship really needs is a good old-fashioned adventure. And what better way to cement a bromance than taking on a fearsome monster? So, they set their sights on the cedar forest, home to Humbaba, a creature so terrifying, even his whispers cause the forest to tremble. Why take on such a fearsome foe, you ask? Well, for Gilgamesh, it's all about that shot at eternal fame. For Enkidu, it's more about having his buddies back. As they journey to the cedar forest, it's not just a physical journey, it's a trip into their own ambitions and desires. Gilgamesh, with his half-godly ego, sees this as a chance to etch his name on the tablets of history. Enkidu, on the other hand, starts feeling a bit uneasy. Sure, taking down a monster sounds great, but he's got this nagging sense that maybe, just maybe, they're messing with forces beyond their control. Their encounter with Humbaba is the stuff of epic legends. It's a clash of titans, a battle of brute strength versus monstrous might. Humbaba is no pushover, and the fight pushes Gilgamesh and Enkidu to their limits. But, spoiler alert, our heroes emerge victorious. They defeat Humbaba, chop down the sacred trees of the forest, and make a fancy door for the gods as a souvenir. Talk about leaving your mark. But this victory isn't just about defeating a monster, it's a defining moment for both Gilgamesh and Enkidu. For Gilgamesh, it's the realization of his dream to be remembered forever. For Enkidu, it's a moment of introspection about the cost of glory and the nature of their quest. It's a tale of triumph and hubris, where the line between heroism and recklessness becomes blurred. As they return from the cedar forest, little do they know that their actions have set the wheels of fate in motion. Tragedy and Transformation – The Death of Enkidu in the wake of their triumph against Humbaba, Gilgamesh and Enkidu's celebration is cut short by a cruel twist of fate. Enkidu falls ill and succumbs to death, 
leaving Gilgamesh not just grief-stricken but also staring into the abyss of his own mortality. This isn't just a loss of a friend, it's a cosmic slap in the face for Gilgamesh, who had been living in a bubble of demi-godly invincibility. The death of Enkidu hits him hard, sending him spiraling into a profound existential crisis. Gilgamesh, the once unshakable king, is now haunted by the specter of death. The man who thought he could take on the world is now grappling with the inescapable truth that he, too, will one day meet the same fate as Enkidu. This realization shakes the very foundations of his identity. Gone is the arrogance, replaced by a deep-seated fear and an obsessive quest to outrun his mortality. Gilgamesh's grief isn't just personal, it's an awakening to the human condition, a realization that life is transient and death is the great equalizer. This is where Gilgamesh's journey takes a turn from the physical to the spiritual, from conquests and victories to a search for meaning and understanding. He sets out on a new quest, not for glory or fame, but for the secret to eternal life. It's a journey that transforms him from a hero of epic battles to a seeker of eternal truths. Enkidu's death becomes a catalyst for Gilgamesh's transformation, forcing him to confront the deepest questions about life, death, and what it means to be truly alive. As Gilgamesh embarks on this new quest, his character evolves. He's no longer the brash king seeking to etch his name in history. He becomes a pilgrim in search of wisdom, a man seeking to understand the mysteries of life and death. This part of the epic is a poignant reminder of our own mortality and the universal quest for meaning in the face of the inevitable. It's where Gilgamesh's story transcends time and space, touching on the fundamental fears and aspirations that resonate with all of humanity. The search for eternal life, encounters with the wise. With the shadow of mortality looming over him, Gilgamesh, in a blend of desperation and determination, sets off on an epic quest to find Unapishtim, the only man with a VIP pass to eternal life. Unapishtim isn't just any old sage, he's the ancient world's version of a soul survivor, the guy who made it through a cataclysmic flood that makes modern-day disasters look like puddle splashes. Gilgamesh's journey to find him is more than a trek across the world. It's a journey into the unknown, both physically and philosophically. Navigating through daunting landscapes and confronting his inner demons, Gilgamesh's quest is the ancient equivalent of a road trip with the highest of stakes. He faces trials that would make anyone else turn back, but Gilgamesh pushes on, driven by the fear of death and the hope of outsmarting it. When he finally meets Unapishtim at the world's edge, it's not just a meeting of two legends, but a collision of mortal desperation and immortal wisdom. Unapishtim, who's probably been waiting for eons to drop some knowledge, tells Gilgamesh about the Great Flood, an event that earned him his eternal life ticket. But here's the kicker, immortality, as it turns out, isn't something you can transfer or replicate. Unapishtim's story is a revelation to Gilgamesh. It's a tale of survival, divine whims, and the acceptance of human limitations. The moral? Eternal life isn't a prize for the taking. It's a one-time deal from the gods, and Gilgamesh isn't on the guest list. As Gilgamesh listens to Unapishtim, it's not just about understanding the flood story. It's about understanding the nature of life and death. Gilgamesh's quest for eternal life transforms into a quest for wisdom. He learns that cheating death isn't the goal. Rather, it's about living a life that creates an enduring legacy. This realization marks a profound change in Gilgamesh. He begins to see that immortality lies not in living forever, but in the memories and impacts we leave behind. Return to Uruk, the legacy of Gilgamesh. As Gilgamesh makes his way back to Uruk, his heart and mind are heavy with newfound wisdom and a touch of existential blues. Gone is the brash, larger-than-life king who left in search of eternal life. In his place is a man who has stared into the abyss and come back with a deeper understanding of his place in the world. He's learned the hard way that immortality isn't about defying death, but about creating something that outlasts your time on earth. Upon his return, Gilgamesh gazes upon the walls of Uruk with a new perspective. These aren't just fortifications of brick and mortar, they are a testament to his journey, his struggles, and his growth. He realizes that his true legacy lies not in the realm of the gods, but in the impact he's had on his people and his city. The walls of Uruk stand tall, not just as a defense against invaders, but as a symbol of Gilgamesh's enduring legacy. This final chapter of Gilgamesh's epic journey is a poignant reflection on the themes of mortality and legacy.
It's a powerful reminder that our actions, our struggles, and our stories are what truly endure. Gilgamesh, once a king seeking eternal life, finds immortality in the legacy he leaves behind, a legacy etched in stone and story, passed down through generations. Gilgamesh's return to Uruk marks the end of his epic tale, but the start of his eternal journey through history. His story, etched into clay tablets thousands of years ago, continues to resonate with us today. It's a timeless tale that speaks to the heart of the human condition, reminding us of our own search for meaning, our own battles with mortality, and the enduring power of the stories we leave behind. And that's a wrap on the ancient yet ever-relevant journey of Gilgamesh. This epic has taken us back thousands of years, yet its themes echo in our lives today. What are your thoughts on Gilgamesh's quest and the lessons it imparts? Drop your insights in the comments and let's keep the conversation going. If this dive into one of humanity's oldest stories captivated you, show your love with a like, spread the wonder by sharing, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more adventures with Mystery Infinity. Stay tuned and curious, because we have many more timeless tales and intriguing explorations from history, science, and beyond coming your way. Join us next time on Mystery Infinity, where history's mysteries are just a click away.